What's up? Welcome back. And today's video is going to be another one of those. Uh, we're going to try something. It may or may not pan out. So buckle up. The idea for this video stems from the Fuma 2 video where we tested and talked about contra rotating propellers and found that yes, the Fuma 2's fan configuration did straighten out the airflow. Uh, it actually did pretty good. But you know, when you add a fin stack in between the two fans, you pretty much negate all the benefits you get from contra rotating propellers. However, what if you could straighten out the airflow as it left the fan? Would that provide any cooling benefits over just a standalone fan? Now, the easiest way to make a flow straightener is by using drinking straws. And initially, this is what I was gonna do because it's like a tried and true method, works really easy, it's cheap. However, I'm also working on some other random things, so stick around for those. So I, I needed a way to test uh, my 3D printer's ability to print fan blades. So I figured, you know, two birds, one stone. So you might have seen the image I posted in my community tab where I was like asking everybody if they could kind of guess what I was what I was working on and many of you were right on. And here it is. Now this is actually pretty simple. Uh, it's essentially just a stationary fan with blades oriented in the opposite direction of the fan that I'm gonna be using. Now this stator is gonna attempt to remove all that rotational airflow we spoke about before, creating less turbulent and more streamlined airflow and hopefully better temps. So the fan that I'm gonna be using for this test is an Octua A12X25, and I chose this fan for two reasons. Um, the first one being it's one of the best fans on the market, and the second one being, if you watch that Fuma 2 video, I use this fan as like a control, and it by far produced the most rotational airflow out of all the fans I used. To test how much this stator affects airflow, we're gonna use the old cardboard box and fog machine. First, we're going to set up a control. This is just gonna be the A12X25 by itself, and again, as you can see, this thing loves to throw air all over. Now let's take a look at this fan with the flow straightener attached. As soon as the fog starts flowing, it's pretty clear we're having some effect on the airflow. Compare this to the control and it's night and day. Well, cool. That's that, right? Wrong. After seeing these results, I wasn't happy just like leaving it as is. I thought maybe I could do better. Now this first stator is a nine blade design, the same as the A12X25 and the, the angle of attack is pretty mild. This one is 20 blades and the angle of attack is much, much more aggressive. The blades on this one go from tangent to the plane of rotation to almost perpendicular at the back. Actually, I think they are exactly perpendicular at the back. So uh, let's see how this works. Oh yeah, and you, you might notice that this thing failed halfway through, bummer. Unfortunately, uh, a horrible tragedy has befallen my 3D printer and that tragedy is me. I crashed it and messed it up. Um, and because of that, I had issues printing this one. So yeah, I suck, but the new parts are in the mail, so have no fear, we're gonna get it fixed, no big deal. However, never, never mind that, we did get halfway through the print, so that means all the blades finished, so we are G to G. Would you look at that? Even compared to the first stator, this one is doing a much better job. It almost has taken all of that rotation out of the airflow. When we look at all three side by side, it's pretty obvious that we're going from good to better to best. However, all that fancy smoke means nothing if it doesn't translate to cooler temps. So let's fire up the test bench and see if we've broken the PC fan market. I can almost hear the offer letters coming from Noctua right now. For testing, I'll be using the i5-2500K running at 4.9 gigahertz and cooled by the Noctua NHU-12A. For the test, I'll be running 30 minutes of IDA64 and we'll be recording the average temps, the max temps, and of course the idle temps. So how... How'd we do? Well, uh, not good. As you can see, as the stator blade count increases, so do the temps. And if we're, if we're gonna be honest, it, it kind of makes sense. As you throw more stuff between you know the fan and the cooling stack, it's gonna reduce the airflow. It might be straighter airflow, but it's still gonna be less. And when it comes down to it, less airflow means higher temps. No way around it, but all is not lost. A lot was gained from this little experiment. I got to, you know, tune my 3D printer in a little better. I saw how well it prints fan blades. I also found out it was broken, so that helped me get it fixed. And I still think there might be some potential here. And a lot of you out there have asked me to kind of do kind of like a, a full shroud around an air cooler, and I think that has some potential, so stick around. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna try something something along those lines. And you know, as always, remember if it ain't broke, fix it till it is. Till next time.